우리나라는 세계에서 유일하게 금속 젓가락을 사용하는 국가입니다. 요즘 미국에서는 젓가락질을 얼마나 잘하느냐에 따라 미식에 대한 조예를 구분하는 척도가 될 만큼 문화적 자부심이 큰 영역인데요. 특히 전 세계가 한국 음식에 열광하고 있는 현재 금속 젓가락에 대한 도전 정신도 커지고 있습니다. 그만큼 사용하기 어렵기 때문이죠. 미국 펜실베니아 주립대 샘 리처드 교수는 최근 한국에 다녀간 이후 스테인리스 젓가락에 푹 빠졌습니다. 어떤 나라의 젓가락보다 정교한 움직임이 가능하고 또 위생적인 부분에서 비교 불가이기 때문이죠. 최근 샘 리처드 교수의 강의실에서는 젓가락을 사용하는 시합이 벌어졌는데요. 미국 학생들이 생각하는 젓가락에는 어떤 장점이 있을까요? 특히 다루기 까다롭기로 유명한 스테인리스 젓가락을 사용해 본 학생들은 어떻게 생각하는지 알아보겠습니다. Alright, so wait, which one's Team China? This guy? Team China and Team Korea. Alright, so uh, we're gonna have a con. Wait, hey, you gotta put the you gotta put the chopsticks down. Uh, this this makes it harder. Yeah. Nah, that's the whole thing. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, he taught me well, so. Yeah, dude, whichever one of you loses. Your your guy's gonna have to do something, right? So you're the pressure's yeah. on. I got you. Yeah. How about you? Um, it's a little bit trial and error. <laughs> yeah. Process, but I got it. Hey, what do you think about chopsticks? Like, these ones are just a lot more slippier. I feel like than the wooden ones, yeah. so it's hard to get like a grip. Uh -huh. Yeah, I definitely see what you mean. How like these are like the harder kind of chopsticks. Uh huh. Yeah, because they're they're. Stainless steel, so you can clean them really easy. And you know. yeah. So, do you ever? Can you imagine eating with chopsticks all the time? Like, what, do, tell me what you think the benefit of chopsticks are. Um, I feel like yeah, it's whatever you're used to. I guess like the benefit is like the more you do it, the better uh, at it you get. Uh -huh. So if you do it every day for like a week, then I feel like that's when I'd start to like pick up on it and get to like really get good at it. Uh huh. Oh. I feel like it's like easier with certain foods and like it's a lot more hygienic in a way than the fork because I feel like the fork destroys everything while uh -huh. this can keep it in like solid as a what do you what are the advantages of of chopsticks for you I think I think it's just easier to have rice with it Dude, how is it easier to have rice you have a this there's this thing it's called a spoon right and you take the spoon and you put it in the rice and yeah. you have a big, huge clump of as big as you, as large as you want, and you put it in your mouth. But you, if you have the spoon, you have to wash two things, right? Yeah. If you, if you like, if Go you have a, have spoons and like forks and knives, you have to wash three things. But if you okay. have chopsticks, you only what you want. You got one. Yeah. Because you use this as a knife. This can be a knife also. Yeah. Yeah. Also. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Kyung, well, how about you? Like, what's the advantage of chopsticks? Um, it's easier to pick up small things. Pick up small things? Yeah. How is it easier than a spoon, man? A spoon is uh, you. Any t I can pick up anything with a spoon. So, like in Korea, like we eat foods with rice. Yeah. And so we have to put things on the rice. Uh -huh. So it's easier when we eat like that. You could. When you, you can literally do an entire surgical operation on a fish that you cannot do with any other silverware with, with chopsticks. And thirdly, you could use it as a fork, you just have to stab it with a stick. You know, it's like, it, it's so Wait, can, versatile. Bro, can we go back to the fish thing? Like, what are, what, like, what are, you gotta explain that, my friend. Okay, so, in a lot of Asian dish, in, uh, and uh, Latino dishes too, we have just steamed, you know, cooked, you know, with oil on the, a fish, just straight up fish that has bone inside all intact. And what we use chopsticks with is we s pick out the bones inside within, yeah, and yeah. then we also uh, segregate the skins off of the bones and the muscles and like other yeah. accessories that is, you know, intact within the fish. So yeah, you're literally doing surgery on a fish so for food. 각각 한국 학생과 중국 학생에게 젓가락 사용법을 전수받은 학생들은 본격적으로 실력을 가늠하는 시합을 시작합니다. 먼저 외국인들에게 가장 어렵다는 콩 옮기기가 진행되는데요. Okay, you gotta move them from one plate to the other as fast as you can. Ready? It's team China, Team Korea. Alright, this is this is geopolitical issue right here. So, alright. 
Bro, you got like 1.3 billion people who are rooting for you, okay? You've only got 51 million, so it's not such a big deal. Are you ready? Go. You can't use two hands on him, my friend. Start over, start over. Like, get yourself, get yourself. No, you got it. No, you can't use two hands. You got it. You got it. Whoa, Team Korea is killing it. Whoa, hang on. You got to wear the BTS hat. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, bro, you need the BTS hat. That'll help you out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> BTS is behind you all the way, man. I can hear him singing. <laughs> hold that. Hold. No, no, no. You can't. You can't. Hang on. I'm taking the hat off now. You can't do that. It's one hand. Come on, Mackenzie. You got this. You got this. <laughs> no, dude. You're, you're using two hands. No, I think so. I was putting. And by the way, one's still on the table, so you have to get that over there. There we go. <웃음> There you are. Awesome. 이제 음영편으로 젓가락으로 집기 어려운 음식에 도전합니다. 샘리처드 교수는 한국에서 소맥과 번데기탕을 먹어보고 완전히 반해버린 맛이라며 여러 번 이야기했는데요. 자신의 입을 맞는다고 학생들에게도 강요하기 시작합니다. You guys are going to use chopsticks now to eat a, a Korean delicacy. So the delicacy, can you explain it to the Silk. Do y'all know how sil silks are made? Uh, we eat those. That's basically it. That's it's the gist the, of it. It's the larva. Yeah, it's the larva that produces the silk, essentially. The larva of the worm. So yeah. we leave no waste. We eat them all. It's good. Okay, so here we go. You ready to rock? Okay, you ready? How about it? It's, it's not bad, right? Try the second one. The second one's always better. No, 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 bro. No, no. Do you not eat bondi? No. You don't? No. <laughs> uh, I, I used to, but... You used to? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it smells a little bit, right? Hang on. Mmm, dude. Okay, go ahead. Have one more. The second... Um... It's not as bad as it looks. Like I see what you mean. However, like it's not something I would go out of my way to eat. Um, it wasn't like bad though. Like it definitely smells like worse than it tastes. Like it was like definitely like edible. I'd say. So let me ask you though. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this. What what is it about foods though? Um, I I. Th what what is it about foods like this that's like say disgusting or that whatever? Um, I love foods from like different cultures. Um, whenever I, I go like out to eat with my mom, like we go on a little like mom Sunday. It's like we always love to try uh, like food from different cultures, like any type of like Chinese food, um, any type of like sushi, Japanese, like any type of like Italian, Mexican so food. Like I love. If this was on the menu, would you say, "Oh, I gotta eat the larvae" because this is the larvae of I, silkworms? I would probably, if I like heard that description, um, I would probably like steer clear. Just like the term larvae, like I don't know, it doesn't sound exactly the most appetizing. Um, why wait? I'm sure why not? Just like larvae, like larvae, like worms, like are sort of like associated, like I don't know. Um, by the way, first off, you need to know they agreed ahead of time that no matter that they were going to learn to use chopsticks, and no matter what, what I was going to give them something that was safe to eat. And they were going. They agreed that they would eat it. Definitely, you both said definitely. I will eat it. I trust yeah. you, Sam. Yeah. So they're not. They they weren't pressured into eating these, right? So, but even larvae, like, what's the problem? Like, we eat all sorts of crazy things. We, we look, look, we eat meat. We eat other animals. Like, you see a chicken running along the grass. And we get the chicken, we pluck its feathers, we put it, we cook it somehow, and we eat it. It's a live being. Like so, the larvae. What's the difference between the larvae of a worm and a chicken? 
just out of curiosity. I feel like it's like whatever you're uh, used to. So like I eat chicken like just about like every day or at least like a lot more frequently. Like if this was like was like my cultural norm, like I'd be like, yeah, like it's great. But um, yeah, I guess it's like whatever you're used to and comfortable with. Uh huh. I think it's just like kind of a texture. It, it's like a different texture. It's like a little bit crunchy. I wish it was like crispy or something where it had like s different seasoning. That was just like, if it was like fried and then like had seasoning on it, I think I'd like order it on a menu. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I've eaten escargot, frog legs, shark. Okay, fried. I eat a lot of stuff. Hey, okay, try the kimchi now. Kimchi is, kimchi is the net, really one of the, the, it's fermented cabbage, and radish, and there are a lot, you know, J Japan and China. It seems a lot more like seafood. Yeah, well, it's its own. It's, it's fermented. And with, and with using salt, it's really good for your gut. This is like the, the sort of signature dish, signature food, I would say, of Korea. And it's re, would you, you have kimchi at almost every meal, right? Yeah. Yeah? And what, tell me, like, what, what do you think people need to know about kimchi? Um, like, there are a lot of versions of kimchi. Mm -hmm. Um, and some people actually make kimchi with everything. Yeah, with every everything. You yeah. can make it with almost anything. Yeah. Any vegetable, any whatever. And but it really creates beneficial like microorganisms for the gut to help you digest food and move forward. What do you think? I thought that was great, uh, especially after eating ants. Like I really eating enjoyed ants that. And worm, yeah. Um. It was a little bit spicy. I tend to like spicy things. It was a little bit like actually over my spice level, but I still thought it was solid. Like that's something I would eat voluntarily. Yeah, dude, awesome man. How about have you had kimchi before? I've had it before for like with Korean dishes, and I know many people who are Korean or they just eat that, and I like anything that's like that spicy and like pickled. Uh huh. That. I would I definitely mean, eat with like a poke bowl or like with oh rice yeah. for sure. Yeah, totally. Now kimchi is just an essential dish. It's very much part of the of, of central to Korean culture. Fridge dedicated for kimchi. Yeah, the, a fridge dedicated just for kimchi. And you, we want to have one more worm larvae. No, I would have one more of that, but not more of that. Do you guys want a worm? Did you have a worm larvae? I have it. Yeah, you've had it. Any, anybody want to try the worm larvae? Bro, in the blue shirt. Here, wait, come over. Yeah. Dude, hang on. How? It's how pretty, I, it's like not bad. I don't know. I mean, my mom's like a nutritionist, so I've eaten a lot of stuff. Yeah? I like trying everything. What's it taste like? Like, what's the closest thing that it, that it comes to? Peas. Peas? Yeah, like spicy Dude, peas. It's pe Would spicy peas. Yeah. What's the problem here? Yeah. 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 Try one more and like really give it to exactly. yourself. All right. I yeah, like peas. You want to hang on, hang on, hold on. <laughs> you, that guy's that that dude's really going after it, man, dude. How bro? How is that? We just ate it. You good? Thumbs up? Two thumbs up? Dude, all right. 모두 김치는 맛있게 먹지만. 번데기는 한국인들에게도 호불호가 나뉘는 음식인데요. 의외로 입에 맞는 학생들이 많아 보입니다. 이번에는 젓가락으로 알려진 우리의 문화가 더욱 자랑스럽게 느껴집니다. 여러분의 소중한 의견을 남겨주세요. 바쁘시더라도 구독과 좋아요 부탁드립니다. 지금까지 단골이시였습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.